Welcome back to Amnesia, The Fugitive, Episode 2, Part 6. And now we're in the Undercraft. And I guess we'll find the other orb here, or the other stone, or whatever it is. Magic stone, I think. Okay, so there are three doors. One is locked. Uh, okay, I only have a hammer and chipper. Let's move aside door. I hate when they when they um, always rock it back and then close themselves. I hate when they do that, the doors. When they bounce back. Alrighty then. So what do we have here? A torch, which I lit. Alright, alright. Um, it's locked. Need to find a key to the locked door. Okay. It's starting to get repetitive. I agree, mate. I agree. All those goddamn locked doors. <coughs> Try to solve stuff and uh, the other person is like, Ha ha ha, I've locked every single door. I hope you're happy now. <laughs> Alright. Um. Hello there. There's a key here. Maybe that's the key to the door. Well, it's most likely. Is there any oil behind the barrels? Nope. Blocked from the other side. Alright, so. I figure that the locked door will end up in the room. The same with this door. So that's that's fine. Um, but this door, I can go up as well. No right then. Okay, let's see. Just uh, general wine bottles. That's all, I guess. Also locked. But a surprise! 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 <clears throat> okay. Well, there's only one way I can go now. This way. Over side barrels. <laughs> Swear to God. <laughs> Why do they do that? I mean, this door doesn't do that. You just open it and it stays open like that. There's a bounce back. Yeah, yeah. This is why it was blocked from the other side. And I can't do anything. With it, I thought I would perhaps remove it with my hammer and chip, but no. Fuck logic. Okay, well, there it is. Celestial blue stone. My plans! It is finally done. I have created enough ET to prove necessary. My life has been a torture and been very hard to bear due to the lack of resources in this world and lack of human kindness. I'm gonna get revenge on all of them by bringing Lucifer to this world. I hope he will take care of this world when I leave to another realm with the orb I will use. I trust friends, I have no choice but to kill them. Xenophilia is going to be difficult to bear, but the others shouldn't be a problem. 17th of August 1881. I told the brute to go kill Agaton and Dagmar Baker. Seemed to pro uh, prove successful due to the amount of blood on the brook's axe when he returned. I greeted him with thanks and returned to my study room. 22nd of August 1881. Alex Collinwood has found out about the Baker brothers and decided to flee out of the castle. Didn't help. The brute easily caught up with him and hit him in the head. His head got split down to the middle and the brute hit him so hard so both his eyes got pushed into the hole uh, where his mouth used to be. Which is also like a description of the brute. <laughs> is this going backwards? No, it's like the 17th of August 881 and then 22nd of August 881 and then suddenly it's one day back. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, <laughs> 21st of August 881. John Common proved to be unnecessary. He already found about the recent deaths and for a reason decided to commit suicide with a noose. When entering his study, he was hanging in the noose, swinging back and forth. 25th of August 881. Xenophilius Hunter is not dead yet. He secured himself in my castle at the city. The only way to get in is there is to use a sacrifice mechanism. Too lazy to do it myself. I'll let the brute do it. Good riddance, Xenophilius and Samuel. Come on, Samuel, don't you think I've known you escaped by now? Not that the servants contact me or anything, but I know you. 
uh, Samuel. You're Xenophilia's most trusted friend. Not that I am vengeful for to watch you, but I am forced to do this. If I don't, Xenophilia will be questionable of what I'm doing in my study and what I've been working for for so many years. I'm so close now, closer than I've been for centuries, and I cannot let you or anyone else stop me. Oh, and if you're wondering how I know you will read this, let's just say not everyone out there is your friend, especially if you're if they are your soulmate. I look forward to touching you again, again, and again. Right, good luck saving Xenophilius. I hardly doubt you're gonna make it. Mm -hmm. So you say that Xenophilius ratted me out, huh? No, okay. Ah, fuck. Okay, I got. They did not. Okay, I didn't get caught. They're trying to. They're going to murder Xenophilius. I have to warn him. If you're talking about Xenophilius, Xenophilius is in here. And yes, he knows. <laughs> I have to go quickly to Xenophilius. So I got the other stone out. I have to get trusted blood, I suppose. There's nothing really here. Okay, I guess not. To the castle. The blue light of the orb was dauntingly strong. It was horrible insolence to see Marius so blinded by its power. Xenophilius knew that it was all wrong to receive an unknown power source, but he was still too scared or too shy to tell him his own opinions. You know what I found peculiar? This song hasn't been uh, copy striked yet by WMG. <laughs> but I'm sure it's copyrighted. But I have no clue why it hasn't been uh, copy striked. Yet. So is that what I need? Is that all? Uh, hello. What is that? Oh, it's just a crack. All right. I hope I blood the door. Okay, I guess that's all. Oh, oh, oh! Shit, boy. That's the brute, huh? Hello, the brute. I would like this one as well. Fancy, isn't it? I can't move. Now I can move. Wow. Fuck right off. What is he going to do? Oh shit! Oh, I can't remember. He is going to murder Xenophilius. I have to be. I have to go. Before he reaches Xenophilius. To the shrine! I have to reach Xenophilius before the brutes. Now I remember. I was wondering why he wasn't targeting me. That was weird. But how does it make any sense with a C? You tell me, mate. How does that sense that does even... How does that sentence that does even make sense, huh? With the C. Alright, well, I don't feel like searching everywhere there, so let's just go. I mean, I'm sure I'm quicker than the brute. I mean, he was behind me. Or perhaps he has uh, teleportation powers. Then, I, yeah, he has teleportation. How, how? How? Do you have teleportation powers? Then Xenophilus is screwed. Xenophilius is screwed if, he, if the brute has teleportation powers. Xenophilius, no! No! Oh no! Oh no! I'm too late! No! <gasps> oh shit! Fuck off, mate! Okay, maybe I shouldn't do that. <laughs> he doesn't do shit. Hello there, fuck off. I'm gonna kill you. The hammer and chipper. Fuck off. Okay. How dare you kill Xen uh, Xenophilius? Well, I didn't trust you anyway. <laughs> oh shit, what's happening? Can I throw this chair outside? No. Why did it collapse after I took that note? Was that note perhaps 
poisoned by Xenophilius. I just couldn't ignore the imaginations Marius could ever have in mind. I had to sneak into his study. When the others went out to eat in their giant dining hall, I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to check it out. I went down there. Oh, I, I think this is actually Xenophilius. This is like a memory of Xenophilius. That's, I guess. Ah, blah 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 blah. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Oh. Okay. 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 I see. Boop. Oui. Marriage journal. After a short view, it turns out that my newly hired servants. I've been spying on me. One of them had stolen my journal, since I remember clearly that I did not put my journal on the table at my study room. I have to so do something about it. Something horrible. And so I ran away. I was scared. <clears throat> I couldn't even believe Amarius has turned against us. It seems I'm the only one left alive. I will hide in the city castle. I don't know what to make of it, but I have no choice. Oh no. Hello. Were you ordered to kill me as well, or... Did, did you... Oh no, that was Xenophilius after he got killed by the brute and he just saw the door open. That was me. Samuel. Ah. Ah. Now I understand. Oh boy. Hello there. Anyway, I didn't trust you in the first place, so... Good riddance! <laughs> ah, come on! Yes, yeah, so this is glass. Whoop. Okay, can't do anything with it. I'm gonna kill the brute. Oh, him. he made me so angry. No. Oh! Locked! Panic! No, I guess he's gonna kill me! Not if I use my hammer chipper first! Ow! Happy diamond chipper! Why don't you walk? Blech. Okay, I guess I have to die here. You're starting to get on my nerves. I guess that is Marius saying that. How dare you! Oh, first he attacks Xenophilus, and now me. Oh, he's gonna get it! I swear to God. <laughs> Chapter five, the Guardian. I'm just puzzled why Ma the brood. I mean, what reason would Marius have to keep me alive? Ah, he said a note that he wanted to touch me over and over and over again. Oh yeah, I can remember that. But still, if you want to be a villain and you want nobody to get into into your way, I mean, it's still better to just kill everyone immediately, right? Rather than for them to have a chance to escape and then follow your plans. But I guess that makes novels much more boring. <laughs> So the orb got planted into me. Something like that. Oh, it was bad. A torture um, uh, method. Yeah, you just bugger off. I don't want to see you anymore. You're an asshole. Bugger off. Bugger off. Okay, um. Going to speak. I hope you do know that you are unbelievably hard to catch. Are you aware of that? You are the first fugitive that has ever escaped this castle. I assume you don't know why the king in your presence said was there to begin with, do you? It was Sinophilius. It was him all along. He has helped to get him through our security. For example, he's the one who put the crowbar in the kitchen or the hammer down in the mine entrance. 
or has she reason to find out the magical stone in the waterworks along with his mind? And don't worry, nothing escapes my notice. Also, there is a way out of here, along with the other rooms ahead. There is always a way out. And by the way, I believe the brute is soon going to come back. Hurry up. Why would Marion put me to the te test like that? Well, I guess we find out. And I guess Tyrfidius was trustworthy after all, if he helped me so much. And I didn't trust him. Oh, well, what a terrible friend I was. <laughs> ah, big deal. Big deal. Bugger off, uh, cockroaches. Um, okay, I do not have a vessel. Ah! How is it even possible? I was... I was not even in the barrel. What the fuck? I mean, I get it. I need the acid, but... Where the hell is the container? I would think... Okay, so the container is not here. I need to contain the acid. Oh, perhaps I need to melt this. Who knows? No. A band painting? No, not band painting. Oh, Jesus. Um... I mean, I figure I need to melt padlock or something like that. Alright. I th think it has to be somewhere, uh, doesn't it? Somewhere in this room is a container. Or a key. Ah, it could be a key as well, instead of a container. Or maybe I have to do this. No. Um. Oh. 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 What is that? Uh. Okay. I see. I see. Let me guess. Yep. Yeah. Anyways. The brute will. Look. He said the brute will come back. I guess he was on a coffee break. I'm now on a coffee break. Don't bother me. Um. All right. Ah, I knew it. Tinderbox. The hell is going on with the sound and such? Oh jeez. Even my footsteps are sounding different. Okay, I can't, I can't do anything with that. Okay, I guess this goes to the crypt. What's up with those all those sounds, mate? What's up with all those sounds? This really sounds bad. Really sounds bad, to be honest. Uh, I got a feeling that I won't be able to, that I won't find anything here, at least nothing for them. Acid. I mean, these are basically just empty cells. No one. <laughs> Alright, I guess that wraps around. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, let's go to the crypt. Crypta. Marius was excited to get going. Sinophius was dwelling a lot on his doubts, however. He never thought he would get accepted from the Guardian of the Underground. Ooh. Creepy crypt. Let me guess, you're gonna speak to me again. On this next piece, you need to search for the magical powers. I believe you take it as the unnatural or unreal. Well, it's time to leave that behind you. Also, you might know what to do immediately. I believe you have seen this machinery before. 
pop machinery. Ah, I want this torch on oh, wind. Don't blow up torches, please. You do as I say, wind. Hmm, okay. Fuck. Oh, it's an arm. Oh no, it's a football. Oh, yeah, let's play football. And no, not American football. The real deal football. I know this, sir. You a magician? You suddenly disappear? No, oh, I guess I have to put it there, huh? Well, that figures. I mean, why call it football if you also played with your hands? <laughs> rugby, that is, you know. There's another word for it, rugby. It did not accept that. Okay. Guess that was just a football after all. No, no, no. Merde. Okay, um. Why wasn't it accepted? There's n it's not like there's not an orb around here. I found it here. Okay, I did find it here. But. It doesn't seem like it. I mean, why would be something here? Uh, no, okay, there's nothing there. Like I thought. Why isn't it accepted? It's the only op around here, you know. You can't be picky, pedestal. If you want an op, take this one. There. Alright, I need to do something else with this first, I suppose. Because the pedestal is picky. Uh oh. Ooh, what's going on? Yeah. The football suddenly merged into what is this? Looks like a handball. Ah, fuck me. <laughs> it's an explosion. Ah. Okay, what's going on? I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Stop going insane. I would appreciate that. Is there? There's a ladder there. Okay. Is the brute following me again, huh? Whee! Yay! I actually made it. Folklore of the castle. Oh, evil Baron. It's just interesting how this, his brain works. He keeps all his secrets for himself and never tells anyone how these complex and interesting machineries work. I believe it has something to do with the orbs. Anyway, I've been curious of how some of the servants of Alexander the Baron of Brandenburg have been able to connect to a new castle uh, without such as giving a thought. So, without so much as giving a thought. It seemed so odd that I decided that today I would go to the village of Altstadt, the village that I was being a neighbor to the castle of Brandenburg. I hope they will tell some information, at least in that way. I think they're talking about the killings in Altstadt thingy. A newcomer. It all started with two newcomers visiting our inn in our town. Seemed rich, both of them. And yet they seemed to be any random men. One of them contacted, uh, contacted our Commodore at the harbor, uh, booking a boat across the Baltic Sea. His friend was waiting outside, enjoying our beautiful forests. We did not know at this time what their intentions were, but we believed that their intentions were not the greatest. We saw a couple uh, making weird faces towards him. As he noticed, his friend went back uh, out and told him that they were about to travel away. We hoped they will still alive, uh, stay alive. The results. 
When they go back, we saw that they had made a big mistake. They had thought some of the servants of the castle Brandenburg. Uh, they had brought some of the servants of the castle of Brandenburg. We were so choked to uh, we were so shocked to see a few of them were still alive. We accepted we expected them all to be dead now, and so young and strong. They must have uh, found a way to survive. The commodore saw the two servants and quickly went out of his study and confronted the four men. He uttered them that they can't do this and had to turn back. One of them now reached his hand towards his pocket and grabbed something pointy, a gun. He shot our Commodore, right between his two eyes. I can remember the blood that was flowing out of the body. I even remember that one eye got pushed out of the bullet speed. It was a breathtaking moment. His friend began to yell at him and ask the reason of his behavior. He quietly walked away and his servants dragged the friend, his friend with him. The power of the orbs. We believe that the desire of the Baron Alexander was the power of the orb. There are around 14 orbs that exist in this world. A year before the two men arrived at our village, we sneaked into the castle of Brandenburg. Alexander's most secret full study, which not even Daniel was allowed to visit. We found a log detailing the studies they made. 16th of August 1893, uh, Finally, we have created enough ET to open the portal, but, but in case this blows, I will write this down. The orb will not itself be destroyed when used to open the portal. It will it will kept it will be kept in a it will kept in a safe hidden <laughs> the secret room is in here and can be easily opened by looking carefully at the bookshelf in here i hope my old friends will find this note eventually my old friend i miss you i should find this continue my walk relic pieces is the things you need i trust you with my walk my friend urgent stuff and time is need to make me proud there's no denying that both alexander marriage puts a lot of faith into magical powers. If one of them succeeds, we shall all perish. We shall all perish. Yeah. To the dungeon halls. As Marius and Silvius watch out at the view, they are both very much shocked. They watch the view of the underground, feeling that all the happiness and joy was lost forever. They were both about to encounter their biggest fears and dreams. Oh god, I don't even have any laudanum anymore. Congratulations for coming to the dungeon halls. But trust me, this room will be a test. It's a lot of thinking carefully on what you see. And one more thing, you're not alone in here. Hooray! We're not alone in here, huh? Well, that's... Oh no. Oh no. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll exit. Locked. I hate you, Marius. Oh boy, so it's gonna be a brute and a grunt. Gonna be a party in it. Okay, he's coming that way. He hurts me. And I think he this. I think I have to wait until they pass each other so I can stack them. Okay, there's the brute. A two brutus. I need to wait. Uh, they were <laughs> they were blocking each other, and that's the grunt. I think the best will be to stack the grunt. I will be the most confident with that. All right. Well, as long as we're silent, I guess uh, it should be fine. Okay, okay. Just need to for him to go a little bit further so he doesn't hear the door. Okay, that's fair enough. Alrighty then. Um. Oh yeah, I can't remember there was something here. Behind here? Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> I can't remember that I couldn't find it at all in the previous uh, mark throw. It's like, what the hell is that thing? So it's a stencil, huh?
I believe he goes that way, yeah. And I go this way, because I know where the grunts will be. That's oh no, it's so you need four stencils, huh? Gonna be a challenge, but it's gonna be doable, I suppose. Alright, I need to be a little bit more quicker before they come back. Alright, um, the stencil. Okay, now I have to just wait until they pass each other here again. Because they will come to this place again. Gonna be a gamble, but I think it's gonna be doable. <laughs> okay, the brute is somewhere there. The grunt as well. The brute is passed. The grunt just closed the door. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, now only that door is left. Let's do this quickly. Prisoner note. This place has become strangely visited than usual. There must be something going on here. I'm surprised that there are two servants here right now. There usually never are any here. This is going to be a problem for myself, due to that this is my only hiding place where it's not too cold. The candles keep me warm enough. It probably won't be too hard to hide from these uh, stupid servants. I can't tell apart uh, from a candle and a book. Due to, the f due to that there are four rooms in here, I can hide in and the stupid servants aren't smart enough to check in there unless the sound is made. I hope though they won't break down the doors and being able to see me hiding. But there are around five doors here and it should not be too troublesome if one of the doors get bashed down. And I, believe, I do believe that these slides are used to something. I don't know what it could be though. Probably the machinery is in there. Okay, I've got the stencil. I need to no, run before the brute comes in this place. Alright, alright. Fair enough. Well, I'm your superior. <laughs> okay, okay. Stencil four, five, four, four, two. No clue. As a three, three. Okay, well, three goes there. I don't know. Four, two, and a one. I've done it wrong. What do you mean you've done it wrong? Okay. Four. Four. Two engraved in it. Five. For some reason. And four again. It's kind of weird. Why? I didn't even make a fucking sound, you. Mm. I didn't even make a sound. Nah. Oop. Okay, so there's a two, a four, and a four, and a five for a peculiar reason. Okay, just please bugger off. Ah, 
I can make no sense of that puzzle. It doesn't make any sense. Could you actually just, like, bugger off, please? Ooh. The puzzle doesn't make any sense. Why are you standing there? Okay, he's going away. That's good. The brute is there for some reason and the grunt is there for another reason. Bah. No. This is helpful. Guess I'll die. Fuck it. Hello. Goodbye. I know, but that stupid thing made a sound. And the stupid puzzle doesn't make any sense. Okay, that's the brute. I have to wait until they come. I have to fix that stupid puzzle, that doesn't make any sense. So there's a 2 and a 4 and a 4 and a 5. <laughs> I can't make sense of it. sense I thought perhaps I have to <laughs> put a date in there but if it's it's if it's you know 18,000 it's the one it doesn't make any sense no all right then that's here we go And now we have to wait until the brute passes here again. I will just wait here. Contemplating on the puzzle. <laughs> it doesn't really, I, I, I can't make sense out of it. Alright, here it comes. Alright, I have a limited amount of time. Let's just do this. Okay, how about we do the reverse? Four goes into one. Two goes into three. The one goes into the four. And the three goes into... There's no note explaining it, nope. Okay, that doesn't make that doesn't work. How about number five engraved was in there? Number four there, the other number two there, and that one there. How about this? Okay, how about we uh no wait, that is not. How about we change it? No, how about we change these two? Okay, how about we change then these two? Number four goes there, number five, and number two. Wasn't it different? Okay, number two. Yeah, I think it was different. Okay, I done it. Made no sense at all. 
So I made three. That made four, six. That made eight. That made eight as well. Because I placed the five one in there, the two one in there. Uh, it doesn't make any sense. It's just ridiculous. Uh, at least we got it. Oh wait, that sucks. Now we have to wait again for the brute to pass. Don't close the door. Thank you. All right. Just have to wait until the brute passes here, and then we off we go. And off we go. Okay, here he comes. I hope he doesn't get stuck behind the door though. He doesn't get stuck behind the door. Alright then. Into the sewer we go. What did I fix? <laughs> oh sh... I know what I have to get. I have to get that goddamn key, wasn't it? Maybe it flashed the key. The brute will be, uh, the grunt will be coming from there again. I thought it was done, but I guess not. <laughs> I guess not. Nah. <laughs> That's the key. Sue's key. I'm gonna do it. Sue key in my hand. Whoa! No run. Let's go to the sewers. The Asian tombs always carry the form of creator of the universe. Marius, however, looked at in a different whole way, uh, in a whole different way. He believed in Lucifer. He thought he could do things that was truly extraordinary. Oh boy. And what we will find in the sewers? We will see that in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next episode. Cheers!